Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today we're on a piece of ground that I'm calling Duelist Den. This is a piece of property I bought, and I bought it specifically so I could film videos here uh, while shooting. So it's the day after Christmas, and we finally uh, have gotten some good weather. It's the end of December, uh, but we've had some awful weather, so I really haven't been able to get out here and work in the rain. But I got out here today specifically to do work on the shooting ranges. And I've moved uh, my steel targets out here, and we'll be ready to shoot some real videos in the future. But I thought I'd give you a little tour of the place, just so you can see uh, Duelist 1954's new shooting home. Well, the property is, is pretty well out in the country, as you would expect. Uh, the access to it is on a dirt road, and there's really only one way in, because two out of three bridges into this road are out right now, and it would probably be years before the township fixes them. So, it's pretty much a dead-end road, there's only one way into it. And uh, in order to get to my property, you can see the creek down there, there's no bridge. I've got a steel gate, and then there's a drivable ford over that creek, and that's the way I get in. Now this is a full view of the range area. Uh, basically, there's three zones here. Well, four, I guess, if you count the top of the ridge. Uh, the first zone is my range area. And then there's the pond. And, uh, and I'll show you that in just a second. This area where we have the pond and just beyond it, the creek, uh, is going to be Mary Pat's bird... Uh, photography sanctuary. In fact, I don't know if I can catch them, but we've got a really big hawk circling right over the pond right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him through the woods. He's flying off, but <clears throat> Mary Pat does great bird photography, and we're going to we're going to put her up some blinds over here and uh, let her see what she can find. Uh, and the the third zone is the north end of the property, about half of the property, uh, which is really where I've been doing my hunting, that and up, up the ridge. Uh, so that's kind of the three uses I'm getting out of this. The, the ranges, uh, we're kind of far back in them right now, so it's a little bit hard to see. Right now you're, you're looking straight up. In fact, you can follow that log line. Uh, I've got two steel targets out there, uh, a flipper and, and a disc. And the beauty of this is I can shoot close to them with handguns or, or back up and get a 100-yard shot on them with rifles, and, and that's pretty handy. But I'm going to take you through the, uh, the different target zones in just a second. Well, this area is the area where we've got our two main silhouettes. And to the left, I am sure that you recognize Evil Roy. This is going to be Roy's new home. To the right, we've got a target that you haven't seen before. And I call this one Steel Steve. Now Steel Steve is also from Action Targets. He's a full-size Ipsic silhouette cut out of steel. And just like all the Action Targets, he's angled forward so that all the bullet deflection goes down, straight down to the ground. Right, this area has two targets on it again. The first one is a steel flipper. And up there we've got another action target. Just like Evil Roy, but that one's an 8-inch disc. And as I had said before, we can shoot as close as we want here, or we can back it up and get a 100-yard shot in.
The last little range area is one I'm setting up for frangible type targets. So this will be plastic water bottles, um, clay birds, shaving cream cans, honeydew melons, all the fun stuff. Well, that's the tour. So I've got a lot of work to do to get these ranges squared away, most of which will happen in the spring. But right now, they're good enough for me to start uh, doing some video work on. So hopefully, weather permitting, I'll be out here filming some more stuff this winter. And of course, the new range fully supports the bad guy's view.